Now if you wanted to create a water effect, a coloured water effect on the characters here, easiest way would be to first of all make a selection. And the way that I like to make a selection is by painting a selection. And we can do that with our Select and Mask feature. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab the lasso tool and I'm going to quickly and roughly select the shape that I want. Now with the brush I can be quite precise. So I can just drag around there, drag around the edges and then drag up to the top and I've selected that shape. If you don't have the brush what you could do is use the polygonal lasso tool and that allows you to just click let go, click, let go, until you've gone round the shape roughly. So each time I'm clicking it's kind of locking it in. And if you're using the mouse that's going to be a bit easier for you. So I'm just going to make sure that's all connected. So we've got that area selected. We now go to Select and Mask. And at the top of Select and Mask, if we choose the overlay, it puts a red overlay above the selected areas. Now on yours it might say masked areas, in which case it's showing you the areas that are masked. So if we put that on selected areas, and then what we're going to do is paint in all these bits. Now if you're using the mouse, if you're using the mouse, it's going to be a little bit tricky. So just do lots of small strokes. It's a bit easier to control if you do lots of small strokes rather than try and do it in one. If you've got a pen, then it's going to be much easier to get those curves. Okay, you'll see that when I try and do long strokes with the mouse, it just doesn't work. So if I do lots of little short strokes, I can just gradually build it around. I'm going to do this last bit with the pen. You'll see that it's much, much easier me to draw with the pen than it is with the mouse. Now if you go over the edge like that and you make a mistake, you can switch to the minus tool. I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller for that. So that's close enough. You've also got options to smooth things in here. So if you felt that it wasn't smooth enough, you could put the smooth value up. Or you could even feather the edge if you want a softer edge. Okay, so I'm going to say output to selection. And when I do that, you'll see it places the dotted ants around the edge, showing me that I've got a selection. So that's how to use Select and mask to paint a selection.